going on, everyone? It's Chris from Pick Dogs here with the wraparound. We're going to be breaking down the NHL action going down on Saturday, April 20th, 2024. If you like this content, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. You know, we appreciate the love and support here at Pick Dogs. I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to tune into the wraparound so I can put you on some free pick NHL winners. If you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, head to pickdogs.com. Click the premium picks tab at the top of the page. Got something for everybody today. Got my MLB pickoff play. We're on a nice 8-0 run over the last four days. We swept the board four days in a row in MLB. Hoping to keep that going into uh, Saturday's action. Got an MLB triple play. My top three plays on the board from the from the uh, the base pass. Also got an NBA three point play if you're looking to get in, in, into the action on the hardwood. And I also got a uh, an NHL play for the long term subscribers as well. So you can jump on a daily pass. You can definitely do that. We can make some money for you on this on this uh, this money making Saturday. Or you can uh, jump on a long term pass. Long term passes they help stretch out your value. They you know they, they give you max value as well. You know sometimes buying these daily passes day in and day out can get to be a little bit expensive. But the long-term passes, they get you every single play that I make. They're not, you know, restrictive to one sport or just a couple of plays. This gets you every single play that I make. So definitely something that you want to check out. You can also pair me up with any of your other favorite handicappers as part of our multi-capper promotion. But whatever you choose to do, remember to use that promo code PICK at checkout for 15% off your purchase. But we still got our morning show on Saturday to talk about everything. We're going to have a bunch of great cappers on, on the show. We're going to cover the entire baseball card, the NBA action even maybe potentially some NHL as well. We're here to talk about the two games from the NHL playoff action. We, the NHL playoffs are finally here. We're kicking off the schedule, and it's, uh, it's, 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 it's the most wonderful time of the year if you're a hockey fan. And all i got to tell the books is we're back. Let's get into this one. You know, we're here to make some money. You guys know the drill. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get into it. Our first game on Saturday's card is the series opener between the Carolina Hurricanes and the New York Islanders. And, you know, I get it. You know, these two teams have taken, you know, a different approach to what we've seen from in past seasons, especially the New York Islanders who used to employ a lower scoring, more defensive style, get under your skin, get gritty, win low scoring games. But this year we saw them take a more high scoring approach to a lot of their games. But playoff hockey is a different animal. And, you know, it's about... You know, harder hits, tighter defense. The goaltending has an increased emphasis. And the Islanders have one of the best goalies in the world in Ilya Sorokin. On the other side of that coin, the Carolina Hurricanes are a team that's built for playoff hockey. And they also have a great offense they strengthened at the trade deadline by bringing a guy like Jake Gensel. The thing is, though, the Carolina Hurricanes also have one of the best goaltending rooms in the NHL. I've said it time and time again on the wraparound all season long. Stand by it with the Carolina Hurricanes. This Carolina Hurricanes defense and goaltending is legit. I think, honestly, I think we're in for a low-scoring game. I think there's going to be a bit of a feeling-out process in Game 1. It's going to be a bit more of a defensive style, in my opinion. I wouldn't be surprised if we go with a you know a 3-2 game, whichever way you slice it here. Potentially overtime. That would be my guess, that this game goes to overtime as well. But I'm going to take the under 5.5 in this one. Like I said, I think it's just going to be a bit of a lower-scoring defensive battle in this one. And our other game on Saturday's card takes us to the TD Garden where the Boston Bruins take on the Toronto Maple Leafs. And it just feels like almost a playoff formality at this point when the, the Leafs and Bruins go at it. And, you know, I will say, as a Leafs fan, this is the most confident I felt about a Maple Leafs team going into the postseason. Not that they win the series, but that this team is ready. You know, this the, the, the knock on this team in years past has been, well, you know, they you know Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner and all these guys disappear during the playoffs and you know they they just they they fall out of you know they fall out of the lineup they fall off the face of the earth and the team just doesn't look like they have it in them well they won a playoff series last year so they got that out of the way and now they brought in guys with playoff experience they brought in guys with some grit which is something that almost in the past felt like it was lacking for the Toronto Maple Leafs you bring in a guy like Ryan Reeves you bring in Max Domi you bring in Tyler Bertuzzi and it just adds this level of grit the Leafs just didn't have are those guys going to be difference makers? We'll have to see in the playoffs. I think Reeves will be a bit of a difference maker, you know, when we get into these, you know, scraps in the crease and, you know, guys get down and dirty and these, you know, they, they start throwing punches in the crease. And like I said, in the last game, the, the hits get harder in the playoffs as well. But the thing for me in this one, though, is that the Bruins have won seven straight meetings against Toronto 
and I need to see Toronto exercise that demon before backing them with any sort of confidence. I'm not saying the Leafs are going to get swept in this series. I don't think they're going to... I think that this is still going to be a six or potentially seven game series. I really do think that, but I just need to see the Leafs steal home ice before really feeling confident about it. I mean, we saw last year in the series against Tampa Bay Lightning for the Leafs, home ice was traded back and forth that entire series. And with the Boston Bruins, you know, they're one of the tougher home teams in the NHL going back to last season. Ironically enough, Toronto has the same record that Boston does at home. The Leafs have the same record on the road. So I think this is going to be an entertaining series, but I think that the Boston Bruins draw first blood here. I'm going to take the Bruins on the money line in this one. Go rule of happiness for myself. If the Bruins win, I hit my bet. If the Leafs win, well, my team's up one nothing in the series. But for this pick, it's going to be Bruins to round things out. That's it. That's all the NHL action for Saturday, April 20th, 2024. If you like this content, make sure you smash that thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell in the description of this video below to get notified when the newest and freshest content drops here at Pick Dogs. If you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. And make sure to let me know your NHL picks in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Good luck.